NCRP Productions presents Unhallowed Metropolis, Secrets in the Sands, Episode 13. And welcome back again to Unhallowed Metropolis. I'm your Game Master, Barry, and I'm going to have everyone introduce, and we'll start. Hey everybody, it's Pedro, playing Dr. Desmond Wright. Hi, it's Sequoia, and I'm playing Frankie the Undertaker. Hi, it's Ty, I'm playing Ray Callahan the Pugilist. Hello, I'm Michael. I'm playing Dr. Everett Wolf, the doctor specializing in these sick gains that he's just got. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> chemistry and alchemy. <laughs> Steroids. <laughs> Steroids. <laughs> this is Matt. I'm playing Aiden Carter. I didn't get sick gains. I actually lost gains. <laughs> this is Jill. I'm playing Raya the Mortar. Very good. All right, so last week we dealt with the possession and, thankfully, the end unpossession of Ray. There was a bunch of fighting dealing with the spirit, both inside his body, outside his body. A number of people were attacked and moved around the room. Where we ended was, right, you are currently in the kitchen trying to create holy water as quickly as you can from memory. Not trying, creating. <laughs> <laughs> there's, no, there's no trying. I have this memorized perfectly. Very good. Dr. Wolf is presently leaning over Sara. Well, where not, he is, no, I, I, uh, I was knocked back by the... Oh, that's right. Once you, once you pulled it, that's right. Not just leaning over, but you had broken the bonds around her, her uh, stomach that were starting to strangle her, and then you were thrown back end over end away from her. Mm -hmm. Aiden... Frankie, Raya, Mei Ling, and Marood, are, and Ray are around, generally around the living room area where you guys were. Cal, for those of you close, which I believe the only person, no, nope, actually no one's going to be close, we'll move on from that. Marood is going gonna, is gonna to move past everyone quickly over to where uh, Cal is at. For the rest of you, in front of Mei Ling is Ray's body. Currently, he is in an arch. There, oh, the, yeah. You've seen black, a black shape moved out of his body and up into the air. But he is still arched, and he seems to be straining. Portion of, his shirt has come up, and you can see the muscles in his stomach are, are just straining against his skin. Aside from that, I think we should start into it. So... What are we doing? Let's start with right in the kitchen. Are uh, you gonna are you gonna finish? You hear well, the I screaming don't... and you hear the noises. I'm just thinking, oh, this is not going well. Alright, so unless this... somebody comes in there, Dr. Wright, give me another uh what are we having you roll? I think uh, we're having you roll Will. Was it Will Mythology? or intellect? Uh well, no, I mean, it, was, it was memory. Yeah, it was Well it was memory, so we're gonna have the intellect roll. Very good. I will use one of my re-rolls. For this? No, actually, yeah, no, that's a four. You're so right. four. All right, it's going to take you longer. You were successful in remembering it, so you don't magically forget it in the middle. Okay. Uh, it's just going to take you longer. <laughs> for for the, the rest of you, Maroon, Maroon will speak to the group. And, and again, he has that uh, fairly quiet but very insistent voice. He'll say, is one of you, the, what's one of the doctors still available? Wolf is is kind of like... He's he's kind of like you know right like there's moments where he's kind of like he's 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 prone and then like. Okay, I want to go grab Ray and try to let him down. Okay, and so but Wolf is starting to try and get up, but the uh, everything's starting to solidify now. Okay, as he's getting up and he's trying to get trying to focus because. Hard to think. Hard to really hard to think right now. So while you're thinking, Frankie, you go over to Ray's arched body. Yeah, I want to. He is arched between mm -hmm. his feet and his head. Tell me what you're going to do. I want to put a hand behind his neck mm -hmm. and then like his lower back, and I just want to kind of try to lay him down. So maybe straighten him? Are you, yeah, using, kind of... are you using force at all to pull him or strictly allowing gravity? Over? No, I'm trying to pull him. You are trying to pull him. All right. So. Ray, go ahead and give me a coordination roll, and Frankie, go ahead and give me a vitality roll. This wouldn't be acrobatics at all or anything like that? No. Okay. I got an 18. 18, and? I've got a 15. Very good. All right. It is some work to get him down, and Ray, 
you are coming out of just extreme pain, pain that you have not felt before to the point where you couldn't think about anything else. As you're being released from it and coming back down, you're actually starting to feel your muscles across your mm -hmm. chest, across your stomach, in the upper portion of your thighs start to relax, and you are exhausted. I want Absolutely exhausted. I want to find his cross that he wears and make sure it's still around his neck. Do you wear a cross, Ray? Yeah. It is there. The I'm just going to kind of pat it, you know. this is Pat it? Yeah, you'll find it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say that I'm nurturing, but this is the softest he's ever been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. are, you, are you taking it out or just or just patting it? I'm finding shirt? it, and then I'm going to kind of put my hand on top I of apologize. it. I apologize. I'm asking, oh. though, do you take it out of the shirt? No. It's under the shirt. No. I, so you're just patting yeah. it on the shirt. Yeah. Very good. Ray? Uh, is it still inside you? I don't think so. Can someone please tell me what the fuck just happened? And Mei Ling will come up and look over him, look at you and say, it is gone. And then she walks away and up the stairs. That's super weird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, how sure are you? I'm going to call after her. You're going to call? She stops. She goes, I'm certain, child. I'm going to look for the ant. This house is okay. clean. And, that's, that is, <laughs> and that is no problem. Uh, yeah. Over there, Wolf is looking very odd standing up over her, but Sara is out laying flat. She, your quick assessment, she seems to be breathing a little bit quickly. I'm, am I bleeding? Uh, yeah, there's a, yes, yeah. definitely bleeding. I'm bleeding. gonna he has, say he has a serious chest wound, just a little bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you hear, you just heard Frankie yeah. holler from the other room. I'm almost done. Hold her back. <laughs> Hold it back <laughs> now. And the Lord said, "What? What? I'm almost done to make my conversation." <laughs> I'm gonna put base right. <laughs> <laughs> Do I think I'm done? <laughs> okay. You don't, think, you don't think you have it made, but you think you're done. That okay. was that was that's Frankie's serious voice. Okay, good enough. <laughs> and I'll take it I'm with me. So gonna laugh if you run in there with the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be honest, that's kind of how. What? So you do not think the ritual is done. You're, you're, oh, you you know the ritual and how long it should have taken. Oh, if you right. stop, you're gonna stop in the middle. Of Fine. It. If Frank Frankie only gets that stern tone with me, if he's really serious. Yes. So I'll go. Oh, all right. And then. Oh, so as you come in, Doctor Wolf has is at the top of standing up shakily. <clears throat> Doctor Wolf looks very different. Now, historically, <laughs> are you one of the characters that knows? That oh, I know. Control? And so I put my hand on yeah, my so, gun. So quick, so quick look. He definitely looks more throat than <laughs> Dr. Wolf right now. So I'm looking at Dr. Wright as he comes in. Yeah, and I just have my hand on my gun. And I'm going to look where he's looking. <laughs> he's, you're, you're looking at the front. So Dr. Wolf looks very large and very shaky and unsure of himself, but you've seen the beast from the front, and he does not look like a so throat. So what I'm going to do is... Okay, stupid dumb dumb Pedro doesn't know what smart question it we would ask, <laughs> but he is going to look at right and ask him a scientific question. You're going to ask yourself. You're going to ask yourself. I'm going to look at Wolf and ask a scientific question that I know he would know because I'm looking question. to see if he's intelligent or if he's bestial. Very good. Go ahead and give me a roll. Do you ask it now again? Knowing his speciality is... In his speciality. Very good. So give me a roll. With, with natural uh, science? Sorry, give me a... Oh, it's got to be patronizing. Uh, yeah, give me a, give me a science. It has to be the most condescending question ever. Or alchemy. I oh, mean, no, alchemy. Do you have alchemy? I do. Then I'd uh, like an alchemy roll. So... Then you get the answer That's an, eight, <laughs> that's an 18. So, I mean, I ask him a... I ask you, like, the the alchemical formula for something that you would clearly know, but maybe no one else would hear. Dr. Wolf, know. Well, Hyde. You ever going to ask me about Hyde? Sure. <laughs> yeah, I'll ask you about what's the alchemical formula for Hyde. Wouldn't you be asking him about your speciality? Because obviously that's the more superior one, and his speciality no, is dumb. <laughs> because he couldn't understand my speciality. I also got an 18. <laughs> so yes, he is... He as fast as you would answer it. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm still a little. I'm still. I still am like. There's a moment. There's a pause. And then there's a brief sigh. Fifteen grams. And he so runs Peter. through the litany, and he's it's he's clear and concise. Yeah. Winded. 
more than anything okay. else. Okay, and then I'll look at Frankie. Frankie, do we need to worry about Dr. Wolf at all? So, as you are asking that question, Maroon Wait, do say, I, I know about you, right? You yeah. know about me. Maroon well, no, because you're a monster again, hunter. Maroon. Doctor, here, now. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, who, who responds to that one? <laughs> Wolf will respond. And he... He moves, and he almost can't believe how fast he moves. He actually kind of like st- staggers for a moment and stops. He just Do looks you move like still... through the well? I on was the floor. I was knocked halfway through it. And well, it you're knocked backwards. No, so, I was. Oh, you're halfway in. That's right. Yeah. So you were halfway through, but as you get up, do you move through it or around it? Well, I think I broke the circle at this point. So, I th- what do you do? I think I'm, at this point, I'm not. I'm not thinking clearly. That's why. I'm so I'm going through. straight through. All right. So you walk over. Cal is laid out. Maroon has rolled Cal over to his front. Cal has cuts on both sides of the neck. They do not. They're not spurting blood. So you figure that they're effectively superficial cuts. Yeah. Has a very very strong scar or very strong cut down the right bicep, two across the stomach or abdominal area, and one just above the knee on the left leg. Pretty pretty extreme. Okay. Maroon, I'm going to grab my valise. I need you to put your hands pressure here to keep the blood from going. The neck wounds, they're superficial. They should be okay. I'm going to grab my valise. And I, I get there and I'm, I'm just, I flex and I'm just like, I'm, I, there's a pause. I'm like, I'm looking at my myself. There's just, and, and then, no, I got to focus, focus. And you go and, you go and find your valise, which yeah. uh, should be upstairs, right? No, we were all downstairs. I but only, would, right? you, would it have been downstairs with you? Do you like Dr. Uh, Wright carry it at all times? Pretty much. So, yeah. so you'll you'll pick it up. So, so normally, if I saw Dr. Wolf trying to do something in my field, I would stop him and I would, you know, try and do it. What are you doing this time? I instinctively tr- start to move forward and then I stop and I want to see if he can do it, because if he messes up... Well, I will tell you this, in, while, you're, while you're watching him walk to his valise as he's still oh. a little shuddery, you notice that Sara is right there at your feet. Oh yeah, she, she doesn't is, look re- She is, appears to be out and breathing rapidly. I will go over to Sara then. I'll let him handle Cal. All right. So go ahead and give I'm me your I'm so sorry, roll. Ray. It's fine. Because you're bleeding out here. <laughs> you're, you're, you're I've been bleeding tough. before. It's fine. Strong Where's fighter Aiden? guy. If you can't, if you can't withstand that, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of pugilist are you? <laughs> Where's Aiden? Is Aiden around? I believe Aiden is. Aiden right. also is. Everyone's got bleeding, cuts. I imagine. That's right. Eighteen bleeding from out. a hand wound. <laughs> yeah. Ray, I'm gonna say at least right. your soul is pure again. <laughs> <laughs> as pure as it was. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Aiden, if it's cool with you, I think I'm just gonna sleep right here tonight. Uh, uh, that's okay. I'll, I'll peek my I'm head I'm going to take a lie down Frankie myself. I would not let him fall asleep. <laughs> I really could use a I'll band-aid. <laughs> so, Maybe so a tourniquet? <laughs> Sara is, has, has very shallow breathing. You're, you're uncertain as to what is going on with her. Uh, her arms are rigid. She is, she is pale, and it stands out for her. As you check the eyes, her eyes are rolled up. Pupils are massively dilated. She seems to be taking in oxygen. She's not turning blue or anything like that. But she is not in any state that you are used to. Okay, so I don't think she's internally bleeding or like has crushed that. ribs. You do not think so that either. So then I'm going to guess something paranormal. Can I try a parapsychology role? She may. Probably have a higher one than I do. I'm just going to uh, say. I got a two in parapsychology. Oh, I only have two in there. Uh, hey! Uh, <laughs> Don't you guys you. do um, add to the Quickie Mart and Xerox. <laughs> <laughs> Mine didn't crayon. <laughs> uh, so that's <laughs> I spelled it wrong. D-O-K-T-O-R. <laughs> 16. So with a 16, you think it is definitely spiritual. That is not necessarily your specialty at all. <laughs> no. But you may be able to administer something to at least get her breathing and her body back in shape. Yeah, I mean, she looks like she's in pain, mm-hmm. right? So I could you definitely just shoot her up with meth and wake her up. No. <laughs> <laughs> so my question but, is, well, are you done. going to concoct something or 
Are you going to go with something that you would just have in your bag, pre-made, oh, yeah. and work with it? I mean, I have laudanum. That would just ease the pain. Mm -hmm. um, That's what I'm saying. Just something simple, or would you I go... Mean, yeah, I mean, I don't... I would, do I know of something that would help with parapsychology? Yeah, that's exactly why I have. Uh, parapsychological issues? I mean, I don't think I necessarily would. So not I with that rule. Again, you've, you've seen spirit possession. Yeah. This is not this is not your thing. If only Evelyn was here. Clearly, um, this is a case of uh, the, 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 the... Dang it, I'm... Hysteria. <laughs> hysteria. <laughs> Damn it, the hysteria again. Well, you know exactly what to do it's with that. rampant across this whole <laughs> place. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, just to move past, just to move farther, I'm gonna use laudanum. I'll right. use a, a hit of laudanum. Very good. So, so the the uh, uh, the breathing starts to slow down. It gets a little bit deeper. The flickering eyes start to relax, and she seems the body starts to relieve some of the tension. She just looks like she's having seizures. Does she? Nope. No. Okay. No. So she might just be psychologically <laughs> winded. <Scarred? Yeah. laughs> uh, so, um, so then after that, I'll look around, and so there's Ray who's hurt laying down, yep, and there's, there's Aiden. Aiden whose hand is bleeding pretty severely. Quick triage, who do I think looks worse? Who's bleeding worse? Well, knowing, knowing what you know about Ray, he looks worse, but you figure he can handle it. Okay. So I'll go over to... I am perfectly okay with that. If you start falling asleep, <laughs> I will that? slap you. Yeah, so I'll go over to Aiden. Aiden, Aiden, let me let me see what, 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 what happened to you. And let me hop over to Dr. Wolf. So, Wolf's Wolf, got, you got your release. I'm, now, as I'm setting down, I, I think, stop, pause for a moment. <sighs> Take a breath. Marut? Yes? Does Cal have any allergies? Marut thinks for I a moment listen to and that. says... Um, in what way? Dogs. Any, any allergies to Dogs. particular chemicals or medicines? Not that I know of. Does Cal or Cal's family have any religious belief against certain medicines, alchemical substances to aid in healing? I, I don't believe so. Doctor, why are, why are you taking so much time to begin? I need to make sure. He says as he takes out the stitch, he's going to put some stitch in. Okay, uh, so tell me what the stitch does. Um, it coagulates the blood, so it slows the blood down and everything like that. It gives me a plus two to my medicine rolls Very good. For, for that. So. So, and how much more of that do you have? I uh, that was my last one. That so. was the last one. Very good. Yeah. I feel like I'm not using my stitch enough. <laughs> <laughs> he's stealing all the good stitches. Yeah. Uh, luckily, I have not alchemical stuff. I can make more. So, as long as you get the components, yes. Yeah. I have a lab. You can use it too if you want. I have a lab too. Um, let's see here. Turn me my my total roll here. Sorry, give me a sec. Twenty one. So twenty one. So you begin stitching up those wounds. Actually, stitching yeah. up those wounds that appear like need to have the skin closed on. Yeah. You disinfect the other ones. Bandage. Mm -hmm. Bandage. There's probably way. a point I actually do have to remove the shirt because of the fact it's like I need to make sure the cloth doesn't get in there. I do you remove. take the shirt off or do you peel back the torn portion? There is there is definitely enough working space. So the question um, is, what would your the doctor do? usually cut the garment off? To yeah, that's that's what has okay. to be done. Especially, it's like look, there could Very be other good. runes. The cow, the um, there could be fabric in some of those cuts that I can't see. So, so. go ahead and all right. So what would you do? You've cut off the shirt. If there is an additional undergarment that is not in the way, would you also remove that? If it wasn't in the way, probably. I mean, the thing is, it's. I mean, I think they're pretty clear when it comes to just. With doctors, it's pretty much just like, look, we need to have access to... So look. everything's off. Everything's right, off. Very good. I am going to have you subtract two from this roll, but give me a medicine roll. Probably because someone's a really good surgeon. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Did I do that? I'm assuming the stitch isn't adding to this medicine no, roll. This is not <laughs> I just have to make, sh make that clear for the audience at home who might go, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> that is... Um, with, with the it was twenty before the minus two, so eighteen. So with an eighteen, Cal has had some plastic surgery work done on his chest. Mm. 
I knew those there's picks going to be real. There's a there's a pause. There's a like a briefest of pause at that, and but at that point he he just shakes his head. It's like okay, not time for no no time for questions on that one right now. And you begin and, yeah. doing your work. Yeah. All right. So, Doctor Wright, back to you. So I'm I'm Aiden. But boy, what did what did you do? And I'm just examining the wound. Just gonna slide out, and I imagine like it looks really icky. Oh, it still <laughs> looks bad. Yeah, because you pulled the blade through it without any real idea what you're doing, other than to get blood. And then you've been squeezing and working at it, trying to get the blood to write with. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's now painful, and you're questioning your your, your judgment of doing it. Oh, God, man, and that, I'll pull out fits. Aiden though. <laughs> uh, my yes. my boy, this is going to hurt quite a lot, and I'll pull out some alcohol and just kind of douse the Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> In that cabinet, bring me the bottle. Uh, and I'll go over to the cabin. So, all right. And what's in that? Oh, wait, now, gin. So, now keep in mind, <laughs> this is the other house. This I probably would have had a gin over here. He's got, he's got <laughs> gin everywhere. <laughs> no, all right, go ahead. Grab Part it. of you wants to take, <laughs> take oh. it yourself. <laughs> yeah. And I'll take a, take a little drink in and say, <laughs> and then pour some on your wound. All right, Aww. so. <laughs> I have to disinfect it. I, I'm not arguing. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, my boy. Aiden, Don't waste the ahead. alcohol. <laughs> go ahead and give me a willpower roll. Me? No. I was like, what? <laughs> to resist the alcohol. Not unless you're drinking the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> to resist drinking the alcohol, right. <laughs> Oh, sorry, that willpower rolls to make sure you didn't do another hit before you start doing the same. So, uh, that'd be 13. Oh, 14 now. Okay, so with a 14, it is it is painful, but you are able to stay in control, not neither pass out nor begin screaming at any level. And I'm just going to, you know, I'll stitch so up the wound. Give me a medicine. You know, just... Wait, I do have euthanasia, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, that was a mainly infected <laughs> hand wound. <laughs> You're not dying yet, my boy. <laughs> peacefully, son. <laughs> Ooh. No, uh, that's definitely going to be uh, d- 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 17. All right, do you get any bonuses or minuses from the meth, or is that out of the Oh, wait, no, you're right. I do get yep. a bonus from the meth, so that's actually <laughs> plus one. All right. Yeah, so 19. Very good. I think that's what I said. So anyway. it, it's it's quicker than, than normal. Yeah, I'm just, what? Oh, done. Yeah, can Dr. Wright, can Dr. Wolf do that? What is he doing? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It, it, it stitched DW on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I assigned my work. <laughs> you have been stitched by the best, my boy. I'm just going to look at it. Low five. <laughs> and look at it. So, Dr. Wright, yes. when you look up from finishing eight, you will notice that Dr. Wolf is kneeling over a topless cow. Hmm. I, you know what? I'm gonna <laughs> because I'm a stinker. Uh, I'm gonna go walk over towards them. I will remind you that, uh, that um, oh, I know. Ray. Okay. All right. <laughs> no fine, offense. By the I'm way. I'm obsessive about some things. <laughs> uh, so well, I quizzed so much. <laughs> And I'll I'll come I'll walk over and um, now I'm using the cane again. Okay. Uh, and I'll say, how does he look? How does he look? And if Frankie, you're going to be the only one that this is going to really matter to. Something we haven't really talked about at any point in any of the games. Do you know that he does not need the cane to walk? No. Because you uh-uh. do not know that. Uh, he has the wool firmly over my eyes. Okay. So in that case, I would like for you to give me a witch roll. You'll be subtracting four from the roll. Eight. It's pretty deep wool. Yep. No, I have no. absolute faith in Dr. Wright. Yep. All right, so you, you'll you then, <laughs> I, I imagine you cane over, set the cane. At least he's the only one who hands. doesn't keep yes. secrets, right, well, Dr. Wolf? <laughs> oh, Stabilize wait. Stabilize yourself on a yeah. tripod looking over. I'll what say. You do. And, well, and you will definitely see this, Frankie. He's not walking towards Ray. He's walking over to watch over Cal. I'll say, Dr. Wolf, what's the prognosis you've given? How does Cal look? Lots of blood lost. There's, there's like a pause. Like he's, he's like, it's very clear that he's. I mean, he's clear that what he's doing is like, like more than just textbook. As a matter of fact, it's like you're, you're looking at the stitch jobs and stuff. So like it's like that took me like five years, to like ten years to master that stuff. Wolf's 
Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm hyping up the savant, uh, yeah. you know, merit there. But it's like, you know, for a young doctor, he's he's doing this, like, more than just textbook. And you're seeing, like, the wounds. They're, they're, I mean, there should have been far more blood loss, but you see, like, the coagulation and stuff is already, like, active in there. But Wolf is, like, there's, like, a, a delay in you when what you ask him reaching him. You're not sure if it's the exhaustion or something else, but... There's almost a point, but he doesn't pause in what he's doing, but eventually he goes, lots of blood loss. He's lucky. Managed to get the stitch in him. It looks like it's doing its work. Frankie, you were... Yeah, brief sidebar. Do I think that Ray's gonna die? Do you have medicine? No. (laughs) Alright, go ahead and give me... You've seen enough corpses. (laughs) Actually, give me a wits roll. Okay. I mean, either one. Um, 20? Uh, no. Oh. You've seen wounds like this before. You've seen, <laughs> you've seen many people survive them. You're like, ah, right. suck it up. <laughs> Stiff upper lip. Almost, no, almost none of them with permanent damage. <laughs> oh man. So. Uh, oh, uh, so. Uh, nothing back in the 20s. I guess so. mm-hmm. It's rare that I would say this, but those are impressive stitches you're doing. Thank you, Doctor. And it's it's not like he's even really cognizant of the fact you complimented him, despite he's uh, like the the thank you seems like it's very distant. Like he's not even paying him. any paying any attention to the fact that he you you said something. He's just responding. Mm-hmm. So really you've what gotten the stitches on the upper body done. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, uh, Cal is naked to the torso. Mm-hmm. There is the wound in the left leg. Mm-hmm. What are you doing about that? Yes, what are you doing about that? Yeah, well, unfortunately, I'm... I, I have and to, I'll, say, I, I'll say, the wound on the leg looks quite severe. However, you notice that it, it too, has started to coagulate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Will see. you be requiring assistance, Dr. Wolf, or do you think you can handle it? Oh, I have this. As he's, as he's, he's, he's taken, taken, like, you know, scissors to the pants. Okay, <laughs> so are you cutting from the, the leg up? You're, yeah, from well, or from the hip down, hip I, down. Because I, I really like to Marud to see what he's doing. Marud is simply watching. Yep. All right. So from the hip down, mm-hmm. are you just cutting the left leg? Yes. Okay. And are you basically just pulling back? The, now that you cut to the bottom, the pant leg. Yeah. Up, or are you draping the entire entirety of the pants? Or basically, what I'm asking. Yeah. I'm. I'm, I'm basically. I'm, I cut it open. I basically s- split and fold it. Like, away. away. All right, very good. So that will not open up the, the uh, crotch area, basically. Yeah. All right, so what do you do at that point? He's He's got Cal open, he's cleaning, and he's going to stitch down there, too. Yeah, and there's no other wounds on Cal? No. No? No, the majority were upper upper body. I, I watch for a minute just to see how he does starting on the wound, just because I'm curious on mm-hmm. his technique and whatnot. Pierce, he appears to have it. Yeah. You don't have peerless surgeon. No. Okay. Which I is, do. Which is d- despite the fact he's doing fairly well for not for surgery not being his specialty, probably right. why he had to use the stitch. But <laughs> that's a good stitch, but not a peerless stitch. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then what do you do? Yeah, after that, I'll say. Are you going to watch the entirety of him stitching it up? Fuck Ray, I guess. No, no. <laughs> after after a minute of watching, I'll say. I think I think you have this one taken care of. Let let me know if it. Goes out of your hands at all, or you notice anything strange, uh, and I'll be right back. As, as you turn to go towards Ray, you'll notice Maru gives you an odd stare as you walk by. Mm-hmm. You're guessing it's something you said. Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and Ray. Yes, uh, I'll come over to Ray and I'll say, Ray, how how are you feeling? Like it's and then I'm just gonna like my... take my cane and kind of like tap his boot. No. <laughs> no! <laughs> What's wrong with this? No, it's not my sh- I'm not shocking him. No, I, I knew that. Yeah, but instead good. of getting down and actually dying, you're just whacking him on the boot. No, I'm just like, like <laughs> Kale, how are you feeling? You're a monster. <laughs> you are a monster. I feel like I'm going to be out for the next day or two. But other than that, actually, I feel fine. Well, good to hear. Good to hear. Well, let's go ahead and stitch you up. Get you back right as rain. Now, stitch um, me up. What, what happened? Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> uh, I hope this isn't your only shirt. And I'll say, well, Frankie, uh, would you just um, kindly help make sure he doesn't throttle about? Do I need to hold you down? 
It kind of depend on the role, I oh, guess. And, I, and I'll, I'll start. <laughs> no, I'm just going to ask you I'll that. I'll say, uh, Ray, do you want to... Nah, I've, I've taken hits like this before, though. Gotta be honest. Is this a sword wound? Did I get stabbed? Yeah, mostly. Right, stab me. Um, and then yeah. I'm gonna go ahead. And, All right, um, fair enough. I'm gonna go ahead and take a, a hit of laudanum and just say so. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm gonna, without telling him what's going on, say, "Okay, oh, I need you to drink this, please." And I'm gonna just start bringing it to your mouth. <laughs> Wait a minute, what is that? <laughs> it doesn't smell. How much of a drinker are you beyond beer? Um. Not really. It's yeah, mostly okay. the... It, it, it numbs just, the pain. It, yeah, it has a <laughs> foul <laughs> smell. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, well, do you want to, like do you want to be in pain when I do this, or would you like a little amusement? <laughs> it honestly makes me feel better if you just did it. I don't really want whatever that is. It's like, all right. <laughs> Part of me is like... Ugh. No, I'll, I'll pour it back. <laughs> so oh, you're going to need you, that if you mess this up, yeah. by the way. Rest in peace, Chester. My question to you is this... <laughs> You you got you know in the same way that Doctor Wolf had he, he's got a torn shirt bits of the shirt uh, material are Chip in the wound. Here. Oh, that's why I said shame. Uh, I hope this isn't yeah, your only shirt fine. because I'm just, gonna, I'm just I'm just cutting down the middle of it. <laughs> are you doing anything meaning I, potion wise? Are you doing anything other no. than stitching? No. Plenty of the comment the of him saying I'll need that oh, yeah, if I best. mess up yep. means that I just dump. Like cleaning alcohol on his chest and kind of, you know, <laughs> chew the wound. <laughs> yeah, and then start stitching up. Now, you're talking about the gin. You're not actually talking about like. Well, oh, I, have, no, I no. have antiseptic. <laughs> so you, you don't put the gin, you actually use yeah. antiseptic. Yeah, yeah, I use good. antiseptic. I Hydrogen peroxide. I'm down on the floor, but I'll bite him if he takes yeah. my bottle. <laughs> Alright, so Ray, go ahead and give me a vitality. Oh, God! <laughs> 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 you happy to take a sudden? <laughs> well, if that kind of roll, it's a waste. <laughs> yeah, what and is the that? And the roll is? I uh, don't forget that. It was a three. <laughs> um, you said vitality, right? Yeah. Vitality. Okay. So that's a uh, 15. 15. All right. Okay. So he, he grins through it. it. He strains at it, and, and you, you wait for him for a few moments while his chest starts to relax, because initially it's torn back and he's breaking a little more of the skin, starts to <laughs> like using bleeding, it like, you know? oh, oh, don't do that, my boy, you're just going to bleed more. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, so what I currently have is Wolf One, working two. cow's leg, Marood leaning over cow. Mm -hmm. I have Raya kind of standing there watching. So what I'm doing actually is I'm going over to the door to front make sure door? front door to yep. make sure it is barred. It is. I'm going over to the window and I'm keeping an eye out because we are making an enormous amount of noise. Okay, well so and that's the E and P are looking for us. So I'm gonna come back to you. Let's see. Dr. Wolf, we've got Marood, Sara, Aiden, and Frankie is Currently, moral support over, over, on, over with Rick. Yeah. Okay, so Raya, you you will see it. It is dark outside, so you will see a couple of, of figures coming to the door. Oh. You're reasonably sure they're not EMP, and there's there's a knock at the door. It's 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 somewhat light. It does not sound like any, it's not cop knock or anything like that. It's it's a light knock at the door. Okay, so I'm going to unbar it. The mm -hmm. door. Go away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's home. I'm going to open it, but stand in the doorway so that no one can see in. So standing before you are two two people. There is a woman and a man. Did you go? You went across the street. Yes. So it is the woman that you saw in, in the house where Sara was. You're going to assume the man is some kind of a companion to that woman. And she says something, 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 something. You hear you hear the, the name Sara. And there's something, okay. something. Okay. So I'm going to... Uh, and one, one sec. Aiden, go ahead and give Post me a, a wit roll. You're going to be subtracting four from this. Okay. Booze. Blood loss. <laughs> what? I don't know where the tamales are. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is a tamale? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's a big old fat four. <laughs> so, Ryan, what do you do? So, because they are somebody that we know, I'm going to kind of motion for them to stop uh -huh. for a yep. moment. Yep. 
I'm going to close the Keep door. Keep in mind that, that you are, if I remember correctly, you're over 5'6". Yes. You are substantially taller than both her and the man. Okay. So I'm going to motion for them to yep. pause. I'm going to close the door and I'm going to get Aiden and let him know that uh, <laughs> Sara's friends from across the street are at the door. I don't speak Egyptian. Okay, I don't either. Bluffing <laughs> <laughs> this entire time. I've just been, you know, I just, I just say words and I just see where it goes. <laughs> Doctor Wright, do you have any more of your meth? Well, <laughs> I believe he needs some of your. Uh... Assistance. <laughs> mm, I just need to lay here for a while. Oh, so my question here, here. is: <laughs> So my question is, it, it, you took the gin. Did you take the laudanum as well? No, I took okay. the gin, but yeah, I figured I you... bled out pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, okay, I'm just making sure. I mean, I follow the railroad tracks. His, oh, his, uh, I'm just making not, sure. His, not only is he suffering from blood loss, he took booze in yeah. very yeah. long yeah. blood loss. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I, got, I got a question. <laughs> yes. I think I missed this. Did you you slit the vein? Yeah, like I cut down. Oh, wow. yeah. I'm gonna give him stitch. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know he slit. I thought you just stabbed his hand. Mark, mark off. Yeah, mark I'm gonna. Off. Be, you would, yes, you would have done that. Yes. Okay. Lot, well, well, well. Look who had to yeah. resort to stitch. I'm, I'm not happy about. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> he says you can let them in. I, uh, well, I guess that means you got for them to come in, and then I close the door and bar it I still think you buy one, okay. right? <laughs> so you open the door. They they step past you, and then there is you know the the feminine gasp, the, and the woman runs immediately to Sara. And there is, if I remember correctly, no one specifically around Sara. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So she She's runs and leans too. over and starts talking a mile a minute. Just, blah, 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 just talking. The man walks I told over. You it, 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 anyone looking is going to notice he seems to be somewhat bewildered as, as it, and he's looking around, mm-hmm. like he is taking in the sights. But he comes to her side, stands over her. So they move past you. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'm going to. So you'll notice that he was looking around the room. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's kind of hard to avoid looking mm-hmm. around it's the room. A, it's an interesting room it's right now. It's an interesting room right There's now. There's blood everywhere, right? Most of the light is coming from the candles in the circle, which are still going. Oh, so, yeah, yeah I'm just okay? going to keep watch because okay. I still think that we're going to have attracted a lot of attention. Gotcha. So, you have a reasonably good time sense, Raya. Give me a wit roll. Damn. 18. So with an 18, it has probably been about five minutes since the last scream, which was Aiden's scream. There is another knock at the door. Again, not the loud demanding, but not quite as timid as them. There's a boom, 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 and then there's a bump, bump. So you're thinking possibly two different hands. Why do okay. people keep knocking on the door? So, <laughs> again, I'm going to go to the door, mm-hmm. open it up, just so they can see me, not so they can Very good. see in. Who is it? All right. So when you open it up, there are five people standing there. <laughs> you think they all but one of them are male. The, the fifth one you think possibly is female, but she's far enough back that it could also be potentially a teenager by build. And the first one starts, starts speaking reserved, but very quickly winds up and, and starts just short of yelling. I'm going to say, I'm sorry, I don't speak Egyptian. And that's going to stop him. They're going to, they're going to look at each other, and then there's going to be noises going between them, and then he is going to start yelling at you slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Very, no. nice. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Can I just start hearing people yelling? <laughs> yep. All right. So, great. Go ahead and give me a give me a uh, wits roll. So that's a uh, fifteen. Unless you want to throw a minus at me. No, you didn't take laudanum. Nope. No. So with the, and you don't take minuses from the wound. Yep. So you can hear the guy out there. He initially you're not you didn't catch all of it. But the majority of what he was saying is there's a lot of noises coming from inside the house. What is going on in there? We heard a woman scream. Now he's yelling slowly. 
I heard a woman scream. <laughs> <laughs> on. So I'm going to motion for him to stop. Mm-hmm. I'm going to close and bar uh-huh. the door I'm again. I'm going to start getting up. Okay. <laughs> I'll help you. Right. So as you go to yeah, close the door, he, he very definitely puts his hand out to stop it. Roy, drag me to the door. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think I'll I'm handle this one. I've had, a, I've had enough tonight, too. All right. So you, you I'm going to stay my... there. Intimidating, don't mess with me. Uh huh. So you pull the door back open a little bit and, and look. I pull it open and look. Uh huh. Give me it. Give me your. Is it intimidate? Is that actually the role? Uh. Or are we just using? No, it is not no. intimidate. So if intimidate just is not a use... skill, but you can get bonuses to it. Yeah. Either psychology charm. or charm. Dang. Talk about the base. I will do charm. I'm walking towards the door too. By the way. Okay. And Frankie is walking with? Yeah, I got a shoulder under your And arm. I'm just like, oh, you really should not be standing. <laughs> <laughs> 13. Okay, 13. So he pales back, but he again speaks loudly and says, "I de- and you're hearing this, mm-hmm. I demand you let us in. But he's saying something and pointing. Mm-hmm. Wait, are he- these the EMPs? No, no, this no. is not EMP. This is not EMP. Okay. These and the ones, the ones behind, you've read a crowd before. The ones behind seem like they're ready to follow him in, <laughs> not push ahead. All so, right. Ray, you are right behind Raya at this point. All Damn right. nosy neighbors. Frankie, would you mind letting go from, of me for a moment? Yeah. So when you're there, I will step aside and let you be in the doorway. All right. So I'll step into the doorway. Do you open the door. You're larger than Ryan. Do you open the door fully? Do you open the door enough for them to see you? Do you just stick your head around the door? I will. I will open the door enough for me to step outside. Okay. And stand above them. You're gonna go because out the you're door. so freaking huge. Right, he's actually out the okay, door. Okay. Just to let you know, you know so, you have no shirt cover. That's what's my next thing to tell you. And you're bleeding. I, yeah. I want to cool. put my foot behind the door. So it can't be open yeah. anymore. Yes. All right. So, your foot. Ray, you not open the door. <laughs> to, to your waist, mm-hmm. you are naked. You do have the stitches, but mm-hmm. he hasn't bandaged you yet. Yeah. You have the stitches. There is pretty much blood all over you. You don't look great. And you stand I never how, look great. And you stand how tall? Six seven. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you say as they all back a step down? <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> Which one of you is in charge? Okay, go ahead and give me the language roll. <laughs> Everyone but the first one steps back more. <laughs> Everyone just tries to get back the first boat. <laughs> oh god. At, we don't have points in the pool, do we? No. All right. Well, I've garbled that up with a bit of English this time. It's probably the pain that you've been gritting through. It's still that, that's a seven. That's a seven. <laughs> so, so you say that? Well, and, I'm, I'm and, pointing too. So right, and they're and they're looking at each other. You don't think you said it wrong. Mm-hmm. You don't feel like they are respecting yet the size and the intimidation. It mm-hmm. looks like the intimidation portion didn't work. It's not like they didn't understand you. They look amongst each other, and the one who was at the top step, which is a male, you know, the big male at five foot four, and he looks up at you, and he says, there was a woman scre- who screamed inside the, the home. He says, we're not leaving until we know that she is fine. What is going on in here? And he mentions the couple's name who lives there. Mm-hmm. He says, these people live here. You do not. In fact, I've seen you next door. Mm-hmm. What are you doing here? And you get a kind of a, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for the people <laughs> behind. <And> not, <laughs> yeah, nobody's, yeah. nobody's, yeah. You don't feel like anybody's, you know, ramping up to take a punch or anything. They're just <laughs> kind of egging him on. It's like, yeah, go leader, go leader. Mm-hmm. I bet you it's a stupid Iwad family. They're so just nosy neighbors. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> You do hear that from inside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and what was your name? Uh, he, he tells you it is, mm-hmm. it is Beacon, Iowa. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to rest my hand on his shoulder. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. And I said, listen, I've had a really, really 
rough night. The situation is handled, and it's not like you people ever care about women anyway. So, get rid of your little act, and go home. Oh, okay, give me a charm roll. Can I, like, smile meanly around the door? <laughs> so you lean around the door and smile? Yeah. <laughs> Felt bad but that I had to cancel Roy's uh, 13. Yeah. possession no, insurance. But I get plus possession. one discrimination. <laughs> yeah. But now I'm going to give him a raise for the, 13. For the shade okay. insurance. So with a 13, you can see that he is a lot less sure of himself, and the others have, have definitely shrunk back, not necessarily mm-hmm. stepped back, but shrunk back a little. And he says, if I do not see that everyone is safe inside, if you don't bring me in, I will go to the MP myself. And he's, it's a quavering voice, but he definitely sounds serious. And you're, you're not really sure why. You're not wrong in, in the way that they, they treat women even today. So, so Rice just stares him down for a second yep. and says, and he won't, he, you do it for maybe, maybe a half a second and he is looking away and he won't, he won't look at your eyes, but he will look at your face. Mm-hmm. Wait here. And I'm going to walk back into the house. Okay. And I'm going to basically but, walk... Kind of step over Frank. <laughs> knock no, back into Frankie. Mean, Frankie backs up. <laughs> no, I'm watching intently. I'm going to go over back. to the couple that came in. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to ask them. Yes. Some, some of the neighbors have heard the commotion are worried about a woman's scream. Would you be willing to maybe get them to calm down and leave? Uh, they want to know that the situation inside is okay. So the woman who's over Sara says nothing, but the man says, I'm certain it is the Iwans. Yes? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Nosy <And>, neighbors. <laughs> and he's speaking to you in Egyptian. Stupid um, so, Iwans. <laughs> and he says, so is she okay? And he stands up and moves towards you. He's not intimidated by your size. He's talking to you as if any Well, I'm not person... trying to intimidate you. No, no, him, and I'm saying so. he's talking to you as if you're just normal. Except <laughs> he's doing so this. I kind of... Except he's doing this. <laughs> so this I will look around the room a little bit and it's just like... To be perfectly honest, I don't think anyone in this room is any version of okay. That being said, we've got two doctors in here that are overlooking the situation, and everything is going to be okay. Hello. Okay, give me give me a language roll. Went all over the place. Uh, that's a ten. So he he asks you. He says, "You mean they they're they're ignoring everything? That doesn't seem useful." You said the word overlook. <laughs> uh, they're um, uh, making sure everything's okay. They're. Um, ah. And which ones? And he's looking around. This is not. This is not him. You don't mm-hmm. think being a jerk. This is him trying to take in information. So he looks around. And he says, "Which ones are the doctors? Which are the ones who are in control?" Since he has moved from my position, yes, I'll go over to Cal and just watch so, him work on Cal. Um, he's standing over Wolf, who's stitching Cal's leg currently. Do I know this guy? This one that's in the house. Yes. 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 I know him. He's yes, been, you've I, seen him before. It is the husband of Sara's friend. Okay. Is he trustworthy? Is he going to tell people? There's nothing shady that you know about him. He is he is actually a brick worker. Mm-hmm. Honest as far as you know. I mean, anyone can be anything, but you don't. Okay, you understand. Don't, you've never thought anything ill of him mm-hmm. in any way. Either way, I'm going to point to Dr. Wolf, who is currently working on yes. someone. And then I'm going to point to Maroud. Who's also standing over. Uh-huh. Yes. Hmm. And I'm just going to point those two out. So he quickly walks over, yeah, s- speaks, that speaks right. directly <laughs> to the back of Dr. Wolf's head. Mm-hmm. You just hear someone talking behind yeah, you. Yeah, I'm not even paying I'm attention. Wrong. I'm just... Translate the question uh, or whatever it was. All right. And so the question is, is, is everyone fine? Will everyone make it? I will. Tra- the man wants to know if everyone's going to be okay. And the two of you were there, plus Maru. And Wolf kind of pauses for a moment. It's like the only time he breaks away. He's finishing up on, like, the, like getting the final stitch on the leg. He stops. He looks at Cal. He's certain as he kind of puts the calculation, he's going to be okay. Do you think so? I then, like, start... I sort of, like, for the first time, start to look really around the room. And I almost... It's almost for the first time, like, the fog is starting to somewhat clear. 
The room's a mess. Yeah, the room's a mess. <laughs> there, there is blood in, on the floor in a number of places. Mm. Chair overturned, pillows messed up, the couch is a shambles. That thing in the center of the room has some scuff marks, some of which is in the back of your head. Yeah. He's looking at uh, Aiden, like, for a moment as he's seeing Aiden it. seems calm. Yep. Aiden seems calm. Aiden gives a thumbs yeah. up. A little <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> I look over. I see Sara unconscious. Yep. She seems to be breathing the, slow. There's a woman laying, uh, laying over her, just kind of singing very, very softly, but you can hear it. And then I look up at Ray and see, like, the stitches and everything yep. like that. And there's a moment I go... There's <laughs> I a, just mouth, there's a, I'm fine. <laughs> there's a... There's, like, almost a slow blink. And he, then Wolf nods and goes, Everyone will be okay. I will translate that. For him. He, he says, okay, I, I will speak to them. And he walks ahead. Now, Raya or Frankie, are either of you still at the front door? Yes, both. Okay. So he keeps walking towards you. What do you guys do? Uh, we open the door enough to let him out, and then we close the door behind <laughs> him. Yeah. I will go with him. I'm going to watch out the door with my foot again. Okay. All right. Yeah. So the door is partially open to where Frankie can see. Raya's also sneaking her yeah. head around. She's Ray has stepped me. out behind Dr. Wolf. And, no, and, not, Dr. not Dr. Wolf. Wolf. I'm sorry. The old man. And uh, Excuse me. I must talk to these people. <laughs> <laughs> and he begins He begins chatting with them. And, and Ray, you're, you're getting the gist of it because they're going a little faster than normal. And it's basically what's going on, blah, 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 blah. And he says he really doesn't know, but everyone inside seems to be fine. The, the woman who screams seems to have... Fainted is the best he can say, and there there seem to be two capable doctors in there, oh, and <laughs> there seem to be two capable doctors in there. This this seems to be fine for them. Ray, give me a wit roll. I envision that you are not one hundred percent focused on the conversation only. <laughs> I don't. Okay. Um, I would say maybe. 4% focus? That, 4 that, focus? That's a 7. I've been bleeding a oh, lot tonight. Wow. Leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> um, so, Frankie, I'm going to give you... Uh, actually, the two of you, I'm going to give you each a roll. You're at minus 6 for this roll. Okay. Minus 6. Okay. Minus 6. I was stabbed tonight. <laughs> Do you remember? 9. Nine. 13. 13. Wow. Okay. So, Raya, where you're peeking out, you do see... Two EMP walking, and behind them, what, what got you the ability to see it is maybe 150 feet behind them, there is a vehicle driving about at the speed they are moving with its headlights on. So it's showing onto the EMP. They are coming down the street, which effectively means they're coming towards you guys. I motion to Frankie, EMP are coming, and point them out to you. We should get back inside and close the door. <laughs> yeah. So just give us a minute. Let's get rid of these. So the ones on the space. ones on the front stoop are talking. They're basically trying to. Now it's busybody. Mm -hmm. They're trying to say, well, you know, we should be able. We should be able to come in and see. And he says, this is this is not your home. And there's there's a back and forth. And somebody give me a, a die roll. Five. Okay, that's exactly the right. So eventually <laughs> he gets. Sara's friend's husband, I'm sorry I didn't name him, gets a little indignant and says something that seems to co them for you guys. For him, he says, that's quite enough. There's no reason for you to come inside. Go home. With everything that's going on tonight, go home. And they, they, rah, 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 they start <laughs> grumbling and head away. Now you get your chance to focus. The two EMP that you can see, because now you're seeing those headlights, mm -hmm. are walking directly to you. What are you doing? The man kind of looks over, and this is what you have seen. You and Aiden both know this, mm -hmm. okay? Most people are uncomfortable around the MP, not frightened. You just never know what's going to happen with them. And so in the specific case of this guy, he watches, he sees them, and he tries to move around you unless you stop him. I'll let him and, go. And back inside. He doesn't run, but he moves quickly, and you guys see this. So when I see ENP coming towards the door, I'm mm -hmm. going to step away and leave the two of you there and go tell Dr. Wright, you need to go hide upstairs or somewhere 
Out of sight because E and P are coming. Frankie feels a rush of affection for Raya. That is exactly <laughs> what he was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I'll say. Well, I believe Dr. Wolf was correct in his diagnosis of these I'm patients. Gonna but they're all going to be. <laughs> Upstairs. <laughs> Frankie, you know I don't like when you do that to me. <laughs> but out of respect, I will leave. And and then as I get to this ta- oh wait no as I get to the stairs I'll turn back but I don't like it <laughs> I don't like this one bit I don't care what you like go upstairs he is four steps up go upstairs uh, Doctor Wright Doctor's right? orders I'm not going to <laughs> that's it you little indignant <laughs> son of a <laughs> so he's four steps up when you guys can hear the discussion on the front porch okay. so Ray the two E and P come up and say. What happened to you? <laughs> oh. oh, that's a loaded question, sir. I did a you really have, bad job. Fifth dinner. Amendment. Big giant, big giant, <laughs> stitched up gash on your chest. You have been bleeding and you have not been cleaned up. Uh, well, you, you look a wreck. Uh huh. You are taller than these, but not like the normal Egyptians. The majority of the ENP are 5'9", five, 5'10", five, in that Damn. average range. So quite a bit taller than anyone else around. Uh, evening, gents. It's Oh, boy, it's been quite a night. Um, well, The vehicle that was following them pulls up alongside. You know the vehicle. You've seen it before. This is basically a combination troop carrier <laughs> slash paddy wagon. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, of course, you guys have been dealing with whatever has been going on in the market district, but, um... Yes, it's been, it's been an awful night, but we, we're, again, following up as we need to. Frankie? Do I, like, know just the talking about his wounds? They look at them, do they just... Oh, they definitely look. You don't even have to roll for that. I'm they say, definitely focus on that and then start asking yeah. a question. And there's a, you know, there's a point as yeah. part of it. I'm going to interject the Shadim. We were caught at the market. So you say that word, and both of them will stop the talk with you and and with the, with Ray God and look directly at you. Are you are out on the stoop, or you are head around the door? My head out. <laughs> head around the door. <laughs> and and immediately they will start talking to you, but you're hearing what they're saying, which is, Shadem, you have you have inside. You've been no, battling. Is that what happened? No. Have no. you been bitten? Has anyone inside been bitten? No one has been bitten. Um, please. The- the people inside, um, they they don't speak Egyptian well. Um, Shadim. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, Ray. Listen, so. there. Um, of all the chaos going on, I guess some some blokes from. Some of the low lives around here decided to take advantage of the chaos going on in the market district. They started going into houses. Um, I'm the, I serve the the guardian of the home here, and they came into this home and attacked us. I've taken a couple of wounds, obviously, but I've been stitched up by our. So the the <laughs> one time that you continue to stay focused and talks, the other one moves quickly down the steps. And to the door, the passenger side, no, no, we're in England, effectively, goes around to the passenger side, <laughs> so the opposite side, and is talking. You can you can hear it if you want to give me a wit roll. Oh my gosh, I'm just rocking these rolling tens. Um, that's a 12. Okay, no, so you, you, can, you can hear it. It's faint. It's faint. You can hear talking, and while you're still focused on him, you'll hear a door open. And then s- close, not slam, but close. Mm-hmm. You will then continue talking with him. Mm-hmm. And he says, I believe we should we should have one of ours come in and, and make certain. Um, he says, you'll, you'll move aside. And, and that, that actually sounds like a question, <laughs> but you don't feel like it's actually a question. All due respect, sir, but we've already got two capable doctors inside. Um, too many doctors in the, uh, I don't know. Sorry, I'm trying to use the the chefs in the kitchen joke, but uh, it's not doesn't quite work. All Too right. many doctors in the infirmary. Give me a language roll, and so before you roll, a higher language roll is going to give you a bonus on the next roll I'm going to have you do, which is a uh, charm roll, aka chip. Oh, God. 
Like I said, change <laughs> dice. There's plenty I of have dice. three times. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'll, I'll throw Sequoia's dice. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Um, someone throw a chip for me, please. Oh, that's oh, way wow. better. Yeah, okay. Um, so that, for my language, is a 17. So you are going to now add three to your charm roll before you roll it. <laughs> before you roll it. In what way are you going to try and get him to stop? I, and I'm looking at intimidating, persuading, some other way. You are trying to get him to just move along and not ask to come in. I'm... I don't think I'm dim enough to start intimidating an ENP. So I think I don't think you are either. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> you're going... not stupid. Mm -hmm. You start rolling this is your you by, but you're not stupid. Yeah, I'm street smart, <laughs> not book smart. So my idea is kind of I'm just I'm I'm at work here. I've had a long night. I really don't m need more people to look after. I really just want things to calm down and for me to go to bed. So I'm trying to. Persuade. Mm -hmm. Then yeah. we'll go with persuade. Again, it's the same role. I'm just trying to figure out how you're going. A failure at intimidation is definitely going to have worse results than a failure with persuasion. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, that's a 15. With the plus three? Oh, nope. That is a 18. Okay. So while you were talking with him, mm -hmm. you'd heard the door shut. The other EMP that was with him was is walking up, and then one that has the doctor's sash mm -hmm. on him also comes up. And you, you're talking with him back and forth, you know, hey, look, it's been a long night. Everyone here is fine. There are two doctors here, et cetera, et cetera, going forward. And he, he says, okay, he says, if you need anything, you make certain. We are still traveling around this evening. We don't know that the animates are fully under control will leave and he turns around and speaks to the two of them and he tells them he says uh everything seems to be in order uh, apparently they have they have a pair of doctors staying here and the medical of the three said i didn't know anyone who was a doctor who lived here and you hear that that stops them walking down the stairs do you say anything do you react do you just let that die on the vine i'm gonna let that die okay <laughs> so the first one says well there's not a reason to push into somebody's home. He, he said, if, if we had a concern, we should. I'm sure there's more that we can do. And the doctor nods his head. It doesn't seem to be real focused on, hey, I need to get in there. Mm -hmm. And they walk down. The one who was talking to you, the lead one that was talking to you that did not leave the stairs, turns back to you and says, again, if you need anything, you make certain to call us. As the other ones get away, he will lean in and he says, the next time you fight... If you would let a few of us know, some of us are not as well paid as we should be. <laughs> <laughs> darn. How do you react? I'll, I'll, yeah, darn shame. And I'll reach into my pocket and I'll give him a little bit of... Oh! Put another, put another charge point in. What are you going to hand him? Let's see. He's worth at least a couple pounds, I think. <laughs> I'll give him a pound. Get, just give them a, a pound note or the equivalent. Again, we we, we yeah. don't specifically know what the Egyptian is, but it, at yeah. that point, there's enough London control there. He very quickly grabs it, looks a little sheepish, kind of looks around and, and puts it in his pocket, and he says, very good. Yes, and thank you so very much for your guys' service and hard work. Okay, so he, he walks down the stairs. He's getting into the vehicle. Inside, so Frankie, what are you doing at the door? Are you... Has, has the door closed or is it still open? Yeah, I'm still Is your watching. head sticking out? I mean, yeah, are you I mean, watching? I'm, my, my, my body's in the doorway. All right, yeah. All right. No, not a problem. Yeah. Not a problem. Right is upstairs. You've made it up the stairs. No I'm, problem. So this is where I'm at. I am upstairs. At the sitting, top of the stairs. No, no, no. The stairs. <laughs> I am in my room. Ah. Sitting on my chair, pointing towards the door. Not directly in front, off to the side. With my gun in my lap, like, <laughs> oh, <no>. okay, <laughs> and, and oh, gun no. in my lap and hide syringe in my other hand, like, all right, well, if the EMP does storm this place, <laughs> the old doctor's going down in the fight. <laughs> Dr. Bull, you, you are doing the finishing touches, tying off on yeah. Cal at this point. Yeah. Maroud, Maroud is definitely watching over, mm -hmm. seeing what's going on. 
Aiden, you are still laid back. I'm Ryan, where that. are you? you chill, I'm laid standing back. in the doorway with Frankie. So both of you are yeah. there with the door slightly open. I imagine open. Ryan's behind the door? Yeah. All right, so you're, you're just standing there to listen. Yeah. Okay, very good. So, Ray, at what point as he's walking down the stairs do you turn around? I'm not getting off of the... I'm not leaving the doorway until I see them firmly down the street. Very good. So, he goes down the stairs. He goes to the back side. Says something back there. You, you, you catch just a little mm-hmm. piece of it. Everyone stay calm. We're still checking. You're not sure what he's talking about. You have a suspicion that possibly the back end is people held that may have potentially been bitten. He comes back to the front, talks with the driver. It's, it's in hushed tones. You're not sure what it is. He goes to walk around the front of the vehicle. And for the people inside, Sara screams. He turns around, and we'll end right there. Oh, oh, are you oh, oh, kidding me? <laughs> Dang it. We Aaron. were so close. Oh. All right. And the next week, then. Next week. Next week. Son of a- Thank you for listening to another NCRP Productions podcast. To stay on top of everything we're doing, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook, all at NCRP Productions. You can show your support and help us continue to produce content by joining our Patreon. We offer additional podcasts like our B-sides and have GM materials, maps, and other fun things you can discover over time. You can find our podcasts on YouTube, Anchor, Spotify, Apple, Google, and many other fine podcast sites. Just look for us at NCRP Productions. We value your thoughts, so please don't hesitate to leave us feedback or comments. And if you would like to contact us directly, you can email us at ncrpproductions at gmail.com.